Good morning, church family, and welcome to another edition of our church announcement. Today is Sunday, January 29th, and it's Men's Ministry Sunday. They have prepared a special message just for us. Remember that the back two rows are reserved for families with children or the elderly. Your cell phone should be on silence position, and there's no eating and drinking in our church sanctuary. Now let's get ready for our vision statement. Good morning, church. Let's say a vision statement together. Springfield Gardens Church of the Nazarene will strive under God to become evangelists to his world, worshipers of his grace, members of his kingdom, developers in his faith, and servants in his service. Today's scripture verse of promise is taken from Isaiah chapter 54 verse 10. Let's read together, please. Though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed, Yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken, nor my covenant of peace be removed, says the Lord, who has compassion on you. Springfield has added the convenience that you can make church payments using your bank or debit card. See any usher for details. Our pastor is making a special request that all families share a time of devotion and a meal together every Monday night. Anyone who's interested in receiving a copy of their contributions for 2016, please provide your name to Brother Ronald after today's service. Every four years, the Church of the Nazarene has a general assembly and convention where more than 20,000 Nazarenes from around the world gather together. This global family reunion includes times of worship, service, fellowship, training, and making important decisions that will affect future generations of Nazarenes for many years to come. This year it will be held June 21st to the 25th in Indianapolis, Indiana. For more information and to register, sign up and go on to www.nazarene.org GA. Our men's ministry proudly embarks on a mission trip to Jamaica, West Indies, March 8th through March 18, 2017. This is to facilitate the completion of the church roof and the electrical wiring that's needed. Donations are also needed to successfully complete this project. Types of donations include monetary, material, and labor. For more information, please contact members of the men's ministry, Brother Davis, Brother Ifill, Brother Affleck, or Brother Keneal. Have a wonderful day. Infinite youth are planning their first winter retreat. Um, the theme of this retreat is All In, which is taken from Galatians 2, verse 20. This retreat will be on the weekend of February 17th to the 20th. Um, donation is needed to for this retreat. Please see Miriam Hunt and Len Marie Pascal. Just to let you know, our church, in association with Food Bank, offers free tax preparation for our church and the community from January 31st to April 14th. It's by appointments only, so please call the church office in order to make your appointment. Children's Quizzing, the second quiz meet, will be held Saturday, March 25th, 2017. Parents, please review with your children. Dig Sight, 11 through 20. And Blue Level Team Captain, please study the memory verses. A big shout out goes out to Teen Quizzing second place winner, Asa Hunt. And he rang second place out of 33 participants. And his team, first place. Congratulations to all. And Teen Quizzing Instructor, Jeline Atkinson. And congratulations to Bedford Zion Team A, first place in the Metro New York District Quiz Team Competition out of eight teams. Let's go, Bedford Zion Church of the Nazarene. The Springfield Gardens Church of the Nazarene's Dance Ministry presents Love Is, a pre-Valentine's Day dinner on Saturday, February 11th, 2017, beginning at 6 p.m. It will be at Merrick Academy. Please see flyers for details. The cost, singles, $45, and for couples, $90. Please see any member of the dance ministry for further information and tickets. See you there. 
It's gonna be an evening of love, fun, food, and fellowship. I would say love is a, an intimate, caring relationship between two people under the sanctuary of marriage. Um, entering into about 25 years of marriage coming up this July, I was, marriage is a job, it takes a lot of work, and it's two different people operating under two different mindsets. But if your marriage is governed under the biblical principles, you can make it work. Um, it takes, um, God has established in, in the Bible that Christ is the head of the church. And as Christ is the head of your church, he said that your husband is the head of your household. And that a husband should love his wife. And as the husband loves his wife, the wife also is to submit unto the husband. Sometimes we think that submission is giving up our identity. But as you submit to Christ and you love Christ and you humble yourself under Christ, then therefore you can humble yourself and submit to your husband, letting him lead, letting knowing that he is the priest of the home. And as the priest of the home, he makes the decisions concerning the home. And sometimes, you know, he might make a decision that you don't agree with, but you being the neck can cause him to to change his mind and by entering into prayer I, I usually go I say God this is your son you deal with him uh, I don't agree with what he's done but God he is yours so you can change his mind and him loving me and respecting me for who I am then sometimes he recognized that he has done done things that are not that is not right and he will come back to me he will say I'm sorry and also, you know, as being the priest and being sometimes, you know, we're two different people. And I know that our ways differ and our, and our, our attitudes sometimes differ. But because he is who he is I, and he's supposed to be my husband, I don't talk about him. I don't tell, go to other people in regards to him. I forgive his mistakes, I forgive his shortcomings, knowing that I too have shortcomings, and he loves me for who I am. Our next baptism service will take place on Sunday, February 5th, immediately following the second service downstairs in our fellowship hall. The next marriage enrichment will be held on Sunday, February 5th at 5 p.m., this gathering, which is held in the Fellowship Hall, is open to all husbands, wives, and engaged couples. True love is the way you perceive someone. If you can step outside of your ego and see the value in someone else and the value in forming relationships with some give and take, then you can develop the mental attitude towards someone that results in a loving bond that can't be broken. If you're not sure if you are experiencing true love or not, then the following are signs. One, nothing is hidden. You keep no secrets from your partner. Two, there is complete respect. Three, you care about each other's welfare. Four, you don't focus on their flaws. Five, you are dedicated to improving the relationship. Six, you are willing to stay during the toughest times. For more information on what true love is, please read 1 Corinthians 13, where you will see exactly what true love really is. Happy birthday greetings to the following individuals. On January 29, Olivia Ras. On January 31st, Gary McIntosh and Keneal Monteith. On February 1st, we have Adele, Natalie DuPont, and Blossom Bards. On February 2, 
Cecile Rice, Romaine Dawkins, and Mona Simon. On February 3rd, Wesley Stanley. On February 4, Pauline Thomas and Annette James Robinson. Have a wonderful birthday to you all. Let's say our inspirational thoughts for this week. The future depends on what we do in the present. Stay strong. A bad attitude is like a flat tire. You can't go anywhere till you change it. Stay strong. Finally, be strong because things will get better. It may be stormy now, but it never rains forever. Stay strong. Please visit our website, springfieldnas.org. Also, sign up for text message alerts. Text SGCN to 99000. And also register for Right Now Media Online Bible Study Program.